The ocean covers over 70% of our planet, but more than 80% of it remains completely unexplored. Beyond the familiar sunlit surface lies a world of crushing pressure, freezing temperatures, and eternal darkness. This is Earth's last frontier, and it's home to creatures so bizarre, so alien, they defy our imagination. Welcome to the Abyss. Our journey begins in the Mesopelagic Zone, or what scientists call the Twilight Zone, a place where sunlight barely penetrates, casting an eerie blue glow. Here, creatures have evolved incredible adaptations to survive. Meet the Vampire Squid. Despite its ominous name, this isn't a predator. It's a living fossil that dines on marine snow, the organic matter that drifts down from above. When threatened, it can invert its entire body, creating a web of spiky arms that looks like a thorny red pineapple to deter predators. It can also eject a cloud of glowing bioluminescent mucus to confuse attackers. A truly unique and terrifying defense mechanism. Descending deeper, we enter the bathypelagic zone, the midnight zone. Here, no sunlight reaches at all. The only light comes from the creatures themselves, a world of constant darkness, crushing pressure, and near freezing temperatures. Perhaps the most famous resident of the deep is the anglerfish. With its razor-sharp teeth and a monstrous mouth, this is a true predator. The female anglerfish has a long, fleshy, rod-like structure on her head, with a glowing lure at the end called an esca. This bioluminescent bait, filled with light-producing bacteria, attracts unsuspecting prey right to her jaws. It's the ultimate example of a creature using light in a world of total darkness. But not all creatures in the midnight zone use light. Some use the absence of light for the perfect camouflage. The glass squid is almost completely transparent, making it virtually invisible to predators in the water column. You can see its eyes and internal organs, but the rest of its body is like a ghost, a perfect adaptation for a world with no place to hide. Our journey continues past the abyss and into the Hadal Zone. Named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, this zone is comprised of the ocean's deepest trenches, including the Mariana Trench, the deepest known point on Earth. Here, the pressure is more than a thousand times greater than at the surface, equivalent to a person holding the weight of 50 jumbo jets. Yet, life persists. This is the domain of creatures like the sea pig, a type of sea cucumber that slowly crawls along the seafloor, feeding on the marine snow that has taken weeks or months to drift down. Many of these animals have gelatinous, fluid-filled bodies which prevents them from being crushed by the immense pressure. They simply do not have the air-filled spaces that would collapse under the strain. And then there's the undisputed king of the trenches, the Mariana snailfish, a small, pale, tadpole-like fish with soft, transparent skin and no scales. It is the deepest dwelling fish ever found. Its body is so perfectly adapted to the pressure that it cannot survive in shallower water. To it, the deepest parts of the ocean are home, a safe haven where few predators exist and food is plentiful. The existence of these creatures challenges everything we thought we knew about life. They show us that with enough time and evolution, life can not only endure, but thrive in the most extreme conditions imaginable. 
Our journey into the abyss proves that life can exist in the most extreme conditions imaginable. The creatures of the deep sea are not just monsters, they are masters of survival, living proofs of nature's endless creativity. And with so much of the ocean still unexplored, who knows what other aliens are still waiting to be discovered.